to pair a fire now. This car is coming so fucking fast. I need to trust it. I am cramping so badly. This is very appetizing, so I'm just gonna go eat it right now. Everything is wrong, everything I'm doing is wrong, my life is wrong. Good morning you guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome to another vlog, um, today is a beautiful day, the reason why I'm saying that, I am so overexcited with the fact that the sun is out, okay, yesterday was cold, like it was so cold that it kept on drizzling or you know showers, whatever, the whole day, most of the day, okay, so it was so freezing, all up to the evening like it was just a freezing day but today it's like what it's like 9 a.m in the morning and the sun is out and the sun came out at i think around around 8 because when i was like journaling and stuff and i yeah it came around 8 so i'm happy about this um at least someone like you know you don't have like if you have errands to do today you can easily do it do i have errands to do today i just have to buy snacks for my puppies and that is that is all that i have to do today outside the house but inside the house i have to post today's video um yesterday was busy okay the fact that um you couldn't even leave the house because it was so cold i did so much and that's time because yesterday i filmed today's video it said it was tuesday today's wednesday so i filmed today's video yesterday um and then i edited 
uh, I edited, but it, no wait, hold up. It wasn't today's video. I filmed Friday's video because Friday, yeah, I filmed Friday's video yesterday. Um, and then I edited today's video yesterday. And then I also edited the video that I had filmed yesterday, yesterday. So yesterday was very, very busy. I was so tired by the end of the day, but I'm happy about that. So today I don't have much. It's just final touches on the video that I'm posting today and final touches on editing Friday's video and I am good for the week because I'll have content for the week and then I start filming next week's content. Yes, we are on the roll right now. I am in so much, I have so much um, energy to do these videos and stuff so I am taking that chance, I am taking this gap that I feel so productive to film as much as possible so that I can have content for next week. So right now I am starving, of course. I am going to have my breakfast and get started on finishing posting today's video and I go on for, with my day from there. So let's get something to eat. Okay, so you guys, <coughs> this is what I'm having for breakfast. It's toast with eggs and um, mozzarella cheese topped with chia seeds and flax. And then I'm pairing it with my coffee. It's half milk, half coffee. I don't know. I like it with like quite a lot of milk. So yeah, that's my breakfast. I've already taken a bite. Don't even. By the way, these are the supplements that I'm taking. The, it's from Ava Life. It's for um gut health this video is not sponsored but i just wanted you guys to see the supplement that i was taking this morning this is what i've been taking and it's really been helping because i don't wake up as bloated as i was i used to lately so it's working it's good just saying okay so guys i am out doing errands i forgot to film when i left the house but I have already gone to, uh, I've already gone to buy, um, what have I bought? I bought some fruits and right now I'm looking for something, I thought I had gloves in this car, but apparently I don't, I just have multiple sunglasses that don't even belong to me, I'm not even sure who they belong to, I don't have Oh my god, so many sunglasses. Um, anyway, I'm looking for... Anyway, you know what? I don't have. My, I feel like my lips are so dry, but anyway. So right now, I am at the pet store. I'm gonna buy some snacks for my puppies. And then, yeah, so let's go. Yeah, they're doing well. Yeah, they're doing well. Yeah, so now they yeah. have no snacks. <laughs> we have the stock today. It came the right day. I don't know. They should they eat the, eat the snacks so quickly. <laughs> Mostly, I want the smooth ones. That's the. What, there's so many stuff. At least we have a variety. And we even have the bone. Which is wrapped with chicken. Okay. This okay. is chicken jerk. It's for the soft ones for yeah. sexy. There's no soft ones. 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 The rohide, the one with the bone. Give me a chicken. Jackie chips, no. I've given you two flavors. This two. Give me this two. Give me this two. Okay. This huge one, it's so hard to like to split it. Yeah, and they then can't it ends so fast because okay. they're only three. That's just a lot. Do you don't have one with carrots? No, I don't have the one with carrots. I don't have one with carrots. Uh, give me, how many do, give me two. Two, 
to this. this and one chewing chip box for me. Oh my god, you guys. <laughs> I'm from the mall and I had to pay a fine of a thousand because <laughs> I lost my parking ticket. And the funny part about losing that uh, ticket is because is, is um from the time the soldier at the entrance gave it to me i hadn't left the car until i parked my car and then when i was going to look for it i couldn't find it so i'm like is it lost in my car i've tried to turn i've searched as much as possible in my car and i can't find it so when i went to uh, to the offices um they were like if you've lost it and you've looked for it but like do you want me to give you a few minutes to look for it i'm like i've been looking for it for like 15 minutes so i don't really think i can look for it anymore because i even went to the main gate to ask and the soldier at the gate said they haven't seen it it didn't fall so now i was forced to pay a fine but that's fine i used to know like we all know anyone who lives in nairobi you know you drive you park in this uh places with like paid parking um you know you have to pay like a thousand when you lose the ticket but the good thing is you can get refunded if you find the ticket so i want to get home and then i'm gonna search as much as possible if i find it or when i find it i'm gonna um i'm gonna do it i'm gonna this car is coming so fucking fast I don't even trust it. There's a, a tiny lorry behind me. It was going so freaking fast. <sighs> anyway, so what was I saying? I said, when I get home, because I'm on my way home, I am going to look for it. Like, I'm going to try this car. It's not out to find it because that's a thousand I wasn't planning to lose. So we're going to look for it. Anyway, that is my complaint for the day. <laughs> and that's going to happen. It wasn't planned. But... I'm still very confused about how I lost that ticket because I have, like, I hadn't left the car at all. So that's the funny part. And I got handed. I I think I remember holding it, and I don't fucking know where it went. But anyway, <laughs> let's get home and look for that ticket. If I don't find it, that's cool. If I find it, I'm gonna go back and claim my money back because you know giving them back the ticket so yeah anyway let's go okay so guys i am back home and <clears throat> i didn't find it but it's fine right now i want to do my final touches for posting my video uh let me show you guys i have actually already uploaded the video but let me zoom in but it's one private so only i can see i haven't finished every part of it but i've done most of it the only thing i haven't done is created a good thumbnail for it so that's what i want to do and then it's gonna be good to go so let me show you quickly how i upload my videos or the procedure i take to put out a video by the help of TubeBuddy. Let me show you guys. So I'm gonna go here and uh, do uh, create, upload a video. And then I'm gonna choose a random video, you know, just any random video, because I'm gonna delete it afterwards because this is not the video that's going up, okay. So from this point, um, I already have my channel um, links to TubeBuddy, but you can just go to Google and type TubeBuddy and and you can log in services whatever sign in log in um they do have pricing they do have pricing uh let's see like this one this is one year and one month option so if you want pro you can do this a star or legend depending if you are very very new to youtube and you have less than 1000 subscribers you can use the pro and you're gonna get a 50 percent off so you just come here and sign in to your google account okay i'm not gonna do that because mine's already signed in but that's kind of how you go about it so back to doing this video for maximum optimization i just the moment you link your account your youtube account to a tubebuddy 
um, extension, you get this little thing when you're trying to upload your video. So I'm just going to click on it. I then go to create new optimization. And for example, I'm going to do this video as Sunday reset. Let's do that, I guess. And you start from them. I can easily create now like i have my description i created uh for example title i want maybe sunday reset routine something like that and it has this score right here that it's gonna show you to the point where you have um 100 optimized so um, all these things right over here is a checklist to see if you are using your target words appropriately and everything you know in the title the tags the description everything and you go to tags they're gonna give you um as, as loading okay see they're gonna give you a lot of um options and this scores right here is how much percentage they get searching like the searching the searchable percentage whatever so that is kind of how you do it and then you go to thumbnails and when you put a thumbnail they, you see they, they've already shown you down here like samples of thumbnails so when you're ready you just come and use that and do that and you're gonna be fine so that's kind of how i do it and then after you're done you just apply to video and yeah that's it okay like if i was to click apply to video you see it's gonna come with the topic that i've written but nothing else uh this is just my default part of my description so that's kind of how you do this it's very easy and since you're using tubebuddy down here they're also gonna provide you some of the options or ta optional tags you can use so it's a lot okay it's very easy it makes posting and doing all of this very easy mostly because it's so hard to look for um tags or title that are gonna optimize your video properly so since i don't really need this one <laughs> i don't need this video it was just a demonstration i'm gonna delete that okay and i'm gonna cancel and we're gonna go back to the video that i'm trying to edit that's kind of what i did here you see i have a this title from here to here this title um it was rated at 86 percent optimization like searchable and everything on the search list this was the perfect title for me and then i added this small part over here because it is my personal playlist so and then i i took that entire title down to the description to optimize it even more and then i have the titles um i have the keywords on the uh, tags as well i do my tags also in the description but there's a section for tags underneath here so that's that video optimization and see SEO, it's quite easy if you have a trusted partner. I've been using Tibet for the longest time, ever since I have my other channel, my previous channel that I grew to 5,000 subscribers, and I was using Tibet to optimize my videos, get the perfect tag, get the perfect title, and now I'm using it for this new channel that has got me to a thousand subscribers in literally four months, and I am so so grateful for that, you guys. Thank you so much. Next goal, getting monetized, y'all. It's it, the next goal is getting monetized y'all but i'm not talking about monetization right now i'm talking about optimization and how tubebuddy has made life easier for startup youtubers you see me as a youtuber i have no idea about like google analytics or all that kind of stuff it's a learning process none of us know about this until like even if you've been in the game for six years you might not completely understand so you need somewhere where they're gonna simplify it for you and tubebuddy has done that for you so if you want to start your journey um when I grow your channel, you can easily create your account at TubeBuddy using my affiliate link down below and you're going to get 30 day free trial on all the programs, all the subscription. If like it's, you're going to get free access for 30 days and then after 30 days, you decide which package is good for you and which one is not and you stick to it. So link down below y'all. Okay. Thank you. Now, since that is done and dusted. <laughs> let's go get me some food in my stomach okay you guys so this is what i'm having for lunch 
um i have gully and goats whatever star fry whatever beef not beef but goat meat and kale so yeah this is my lunch my video is premiering it's been premiering for the last 10 minutes because it's 2 10 and i had it set for two so it's premiering and yeah anyway i just got myself a smoothie i just made myself a smoothie well technically i took the mango smoothie that i was i already had um and then i put in some rucola and what else i put in strawberries uh raspberries and what else did i put in here chia seeds and flax seeds for it to create it has a weird color because the mango smoothie was you know that color and then there's some green in it and yeah it's just a weird thing but it's very tasty so i'm gonna have this as a snack for the rest of the afternoon um i kind of like doing this to avoid snacking on anything else so yeah cheers don't mind that jacket cheers or anything on that so cheers y'all i think i have had the most lazy afternoon in a while okay i'm lying last week oof i had lazy afternoons every single day seven days a week but today i was i had a plan okay i was like this afternoon sorry i am going to counter proof pre proof whatever edit my friday video my friday's vlog so it's already edited like all the way from beginning to end but i like watching it like twice to see if there's any mistakes anything that i need to fix i was supposed to do that today afternoon that's what i had planned and then tomorrow i just schedule it to post um on friday but the moment i sat down on my like the moment i sat down on my desk okay that was 2 p.m when i was telling you guys that i just uploaded my video my video is premiering right right now it's six o'clock so that's about four hours of doing absolutely nothing i've just been watching a bunch of um youtubers that i like watching um i like watching alia's face actually mostly this afternoon i have watched alia's uh alia's face okay because she has amazing week vlogs and i was like weekly vlogs and i was like i want to see like you know how you go about it i'm still quite learning this vlogging every day kind of situation because the previous channel that i had was a sit down most of the time talking about a lot of different stuff so this was dedicated 100 percent to vlogging so i kind of like um needed to get the like i need to get ideas i need to get inspiration and well like a guideline to how to be a vlogger and how to you know vlog stuff and she goes everywhere with her camera and i'm like that's i think the one thing that i need to start learning like going out with my camera and not feeling awkward that's the kind of part that I need to get over. That is even why I have stopped doing um, tour videos, restaurant videos, and all that. Because I am trying to, number one, get a tiny vlog camera. Or, well, technically, I do have a tiny vlog camera. But no matter how much I charge it, it's not going on. So I guess I need to charge the battery alone using that battery um, charger thingy. And I have absolutely no clue where the charger is. So there's no way I can charge it like that. So I'm going to have to put a hold on the travel vlog for like a month or so. Until I get my stuff work together. And learn how to like vlog without feeling awkward in public. So there's a lot that I need to adjust. But I'll still be posting my videos how they're supposed to. That's not changing. So, well, I wouldn't say this afternoon went wasted because um <laughs> i learned something so it wasn't really completely wasted but i spent it watching youtube videos that's just the case anyway i think it's time for me to have dinner sometimes i have dinner early in the evening sometimes late right now it's six so i want to have my dinner well it's technically six ten because i've been rambling for a while so sorry 
y'all try you trying to like anyway <sighs> let's well not really make something to eat the chef already left something to eat so let's just um plate them plate the food <laughs> i think um let's see what do i want to eat so this is the thing oh okay so for dinner so for dinner this is what was made today it's vegetable rice stew uh, i think this is beef and coleslaw but i'm not gonna have the rice i'm gonna create my own weird thing over here and i'm going to use this fluffy pancakes um they were meant for breakfast but i didn't have them in the morning so i'm gonna create my weird thing with it let's go get a plate so guys i'm gonna have it like that and then i'm gonna put this beef on top of it since i am on a weight loss journey it's even so weird that i am on a weight loss journey and i eat stuff like fluffy pancakes because i am not trying to hate my life okay so i have this calorie counter weight food skills contraption that i got from amazon uh so i kind of like calorie count these days because for various reasons um i do you have this app it's called lifesome that you kind of input your food and the grams i'm gonna calculate the calories for you they have so many diets up in there if you want vegetarian if you want pescatarian whatever kind of really diet you want is there is there okay and that is what i've been using for like the past month and it's working it's working because it kind of limits how much I eat in a day, so that boost um kind of like helps when it comes to weight loss. This is not a uh, it's not this video is not sponsored by them. Okay, it is not sponsored by them. But if they do sponsor one of my videos, I'll be I'll be very happy about it. But not this video. This is not the video. I'm just telling you because this is also a what I eat in a week video. So. I'm just showing you guys how I do stuff. I had to go to the living room because it has better lighting. The kitchen has horrible lighting. So let's just continue plating my food. Okay, guys. So here is my dinner. It's a weird <laughs> um thingy, but it looks very appetizing. So I'm just gonna go eat it right now. Okay. But this is this is what I'm having for dinner. Okay. My little tower of stuff. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. Well, technically speaking, it ain't even morning. It's about 11 a.m. So, good mid morning. I don't know. Anyway, today, y'all, <laughs> today started off awfully. I mean, I was up my regular time, 6 45. I was up and I had this intense headache. I'm not even talking about my, like, you know, the little headache you get when you wake up abruptly because I did wake up abruptly. Um, for some reason today, my alarm was very intense. Even if it starts out slowly and then it goes, gradually increases its voice. Uh, the sound today was intense because I had it when it was loud. So it was like, you know, like, like the um the <laughs> the regular not the regular the original alarm for you know asthma it was very loud even if i changed it it's not the regular alarm that everybody has for um their iphone mine is different because i don't like the sound of that i don't like it so i changed it anyway in addition to having a ridiculous headache i am cramping so badly like my back is hurting my stomach my feet everywhere i'm like today is not the day my body is just gonna collapse at me like it's just morning girl what the hell are you doing are you trying to make me just stay in bed the whole day um so i woke up uh did a little journaling um planned my my next week videos and then i was like girl I can't I can't I can't so around 7 30 I just took a shower and back to bed like I took a nap and I woke up at 10 30 and 
I feel better now. I mean, I do feel kind of lazy, but it's better than being in pain. Um, my head stopped painting because I took some painkillers, but girl, my cramps are still cramping so hard. Uh, but I think it kind of like went a little down. It's not like where it was in the morning. The morning was like 120%. Right now it's at about 75%. So it's doing better, it's doing better. Anyway, today I had a lot planned. Like I was like planning today last night. I don't know why I like planning my day the night before. So when I wake up in the morning, I already have a schedule of, of what I wanna accomplish today. I had a lot on that to-do list, but I'm gonna cancel one thing and do it tomorrow. I was supposed to film the rest of my closet organization video but i'm gonna film this tomorrow because today is not the day so today i'm gonna focus on editing um it's way much better when i'm sitting down and working when i'm sitting down than walking around because you know i kind of need to be in one position for it to settle okay so i want to i have an assignment that i have to do i have a story that i have to write and for for school my um, what is it called? What is this unit called? It's printing? No, 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 no. I think, I don't know, write, oh, I remember. Writing for print media. So I kind of have to write a story for this assignment. It's a group assignment, by the way, but my group is trash. Like, this assignment is due on Monday, but my group is, like, not even cooperating. I'm like, I'm going to do this assignment, and when the time for collection comes, I'm going to fucking collect my own. And if I get asked, I'm like, my group ain't working. I am not going to fail this class. And this is my last class to graduation. I don't give a fuck about the rest of the people in that group. Most of them have just started their, their, um, their diploma this year and others last year. But I started mine in 2019. So, girl, I got to finish this and graduate with the rest of my class. So I don't really care if they're going to participate or not. I can easily write a story. I have worked in a media house before. I can write stories. I used to write articles. So I'm pretty sure I can hack writing about food security in this country. Anyway, I don't know why I'm complaining about that. But that is what I have to do. That's one of the things I have to do. Uh, today's Thursday and this assignment is due on Monday. So I don't work on weekends. Like weekend is my time to do absolutely nothing except film a cleaning video. If you see a cleaning video, I probably film that in the weekend. Probably because that's when I clean. So I don't like do like work. I don't have the mental capacity to work. Like, you know, start making um stories, start writing articles, start reading, start doing this. I can't, I can't, I can't. So that is one of the things I have to do today. And the other one is I need to schedule tomorrow's video, okay? Uh, tomorrow's Friday. So Friday I usually post like tour videos, restaurant videos, but I'm taking a break on that like I told you guys on... Did I talk? <laughs> I have been filming this whole week that I'm not sure what video is going to come in front of what. So if you hear me mistake, miss say something, it's because I've been filming the whole week. So, like, daily vlogs the whole week. So, if it confuses you, just bear with me, okay? I don't remember everything I say, okay? So, what else was I saying? What was I saying? See? See what I'm talking about? I already forgotten. All right. I am doing... Oh, wait. What? I want to schedule tomorrow's video. Um, And then I have to edit uh next week's video that I filmed yesterday because why not? Why not? Okay, the more I have them, um, the more I film early, the more I edit early, the more I get contents posted on the right days. And I don't skip any posting days. So that's what we're working with. And that's basically today. Okay, today is not long. Um, it's not it's not gonna be even a long video because it's I'm not doing a lot for the day. And I'm not going anywhere. I don't have errands to run. I ran my errands yesterday. So today is just sitting down and um working anyway my hair if you can can you guys see my hair is fading it's like girl i have helped you i have held you on for how long is that how long did i have to say like three weeks and right now it's like girl we ain't got the time so i think i'm gonna remove them not today not tomorrow eventually 
and then i'm gonna go re-dye my hair i wanted red color like intense not intense like shouting but i did the red color but we have done this like twice and the red is not coming out so my hairstylist was like we're gonna try one more time and with a bright red color and we're gonna see if it's gonna come out so when i get this done i'm gonna redo them and probably um retouch my hair and stay with the open like that because you know it's fine and i also need to do my nails y'all look at them it's been a month and a half Okay, first of all, even that's okay. Look, look, I cut this because it broke and actually it didn't break. It kind of like lifted, so it was so painful. So instead, I just cut it out. I cut it out. So when I remove this one, I'm going to do the tiny, cute little nails that, you know, they're trendy now and they look more manageable. And I'm not going to be so careful with everything because this are pretty long nails. And I think I am done with the long nails. I just want like shorter nails you know short nails that look very cute and very manageable and very classy so yeah anyway okay <laughs> if i keep on talking like this y'all i'm not even gonna start with my work so let's get started and i think i'm gonna start with scheduling tomorrow's video before i start writing my story so let's get started another lazy afternoon Clouds covered in gray, third coffee of the day Almost fell asleep on soon I yawn at the display, third meeting of the day But I can hear raindrops that dancing on the roof It's like they're calling out, don't lose your youth Cause I can stay inside and type away inside oh, complaining about how um i'm tired i have a headache my body is just cramping and everything so i managed to work i managed to um finish uh the video that i'm supposed to post today which is already up actually it was up like a couple of i would like i think two hours ago it went up or like an hour ago anyway so after that i just spent the afternoon um 
doing some, you know, entertaining, you know, watching, catching up on the series, videos, and all that. And then, sorry, around this time, actually, yeah, around this time, because it's almost 5 p.m., things changed. I mean, something went off in my mind, and I got very, 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 very crazy, okay? So, what had happened was, even though I am on my period, I get very emotional. I get very critical. I get very, like, I go into this hyper anxiety moment where I think that everything is wrong. Everything I'm doing is wrong. My life is wrong. I just went into this spiral and I was like, oh my God, I am 22 years old. I haven't achieved anything. Like, my life is going to waste. I am not doing anything with them. Um, I am not where I want to be. I don't have a million subscribers. I don't have, um, you know, I haven't made it on YouTube like I want to. And I was just being all, you know, very self-critical about how I'm living my life. I even started, um, you know, beating myself down for how slow I have taken my university life. Like, right now, I'm supposed to probably be almost done with my degree, but I'm not even done with my diploma. So I kind of was very self-critical about everything. And then I gave, like, I put myself in a position where I just started crying. I cried my eyes out. Now, I am not a regular vlogger. I am not going to freaking post that I'm crying. That's just no-no. If I'm going to cry, I'm going to cry in the bathroom or in my bedroom, in my pillows, wash my face, and move on with life. So Yesterday was that day where I went into an actual emotional breakdown, mental breakdown, for the first time in a long time. And the thing with, uh, with having a breakdown is... One thing will lead to the other, will lead to the other, will lead to the other. And next thing you know, you've gone, you're gone, you're gone. So I'm actually, I feel like maybe they're not healthy, but I feel like they help because yes, I cried yesterday. Yes, I was in my own little spirally world yesterday. But today morning when I wake up, when I woke up in the morning, I was so energized, like... I have this new perspective in life because I started asking myself if my 10 year old self could see where we are right now, that girl would go crazy. She'd be like, how, how, how did we get here? Okay. From being the weird, quiet kid who everyone picks on in, in primary school to this. Okay, yes, I am not where I want to be, but this is a career I never knew I would have. Do you get it? I was so confused. I was like, uh, okay, not confused. Um, I was very, like, you know, happy to think that my younger self right now is probably proud because we are something right now. We are trying to be something. We have started a career. We're starting a brand. We're starting a company. So, Yes, it's at the beginning stages, but I never thought I would ever get to this point in my life. When I was in primary school, um, I just was the weird kid. I'm not even kidding, you guys. You know, you know, so many people have seen so many celebrities um, go out and say, oh, I was bullied in school, yada, yada, yada. And then people come out and say, oh, no, she was the bully. If you ask the people I went with to primary school, they will tell you the weird, quiet kid who you could easily pick one and some people did pick one me but um, it wasn't like so much that i got emotionally um scarred like bro <laughs> to get me emotionally scarred you need to try your hardest you need to try so hard before you give me an emotional scar because my emotional scars heal like like that is it because i don't know how to get attached to people i don't know i don't know how to get attachment to people like if i get attached to you just know it's it's wishy-washy i can easily just as easily get unattached like for me i believe the people you're supposed to be attached to is your mother and your sisters and brothers basically your very small candy family okay your pet sorry your parents and your siblings and that's it and sometimes if those siblings are getting way too, you know, you know, some siblings are just not it. I don't have siblings. I'm an only child. But I've seen so many people, like, take a break from their sibling because their siblings are being too much. So, yeah, I get it. But, you know, that's someone you share your blood, you share parents with. So there's really no way you can attach, unattach yourself from them. So I believe 
somehow those are the people that's the family people are always talking about how family is important they mean your mother your father or you or one of the parents you know sometimes you know some mothers ain't shit and some dads ain't shit so whichever family member like mother or father or both who's close to you and your siblings oh when you go to oh my uncle oh my aunt oh my those are not like <sighs> I don't know they can easily turn so my point is i don't get emotionally scarred that quickly so the point was but well, that's not the, that's not the point the point was i will be so proud of myself and i think i'm supposed to be proud of myself for what i have accomplished so far because this is something i never knew i would ever get to and sometimes we forget to tap ourselves on the shoulder and be like oh girl you're doing it oh boy you're doing great okay you're doing a good thing you're doing great just keep on moving sometimes i think we need to tell ourselves something you know comforting like that because with social media and everyone putting their life out people are like you know they give you so much pressure in life like i'm 22 do you know how many 22s i see on instagram living life or are people way younger than me 19 18 16 you see someone buying their dream car at 16 i'm like at 16 i didn't even know what i wanted to do with my life heck at 20 i didn't know what i was doing in my life like i started college dropped out for college again in a completely different field and i'm just moving i'm just living i'm like i'm gonna take life as it is every single day as it is but of course i do have goals for the future what i want but life can surprise you okay i always say life is very surprising and unpredictable so if it gets to a point where um you know let it flow but have goals have dreams have a vision but also let life live like let life do what it does best okay if you're in a bad situation right now it's not gonna last forever if you feel like you're trapped you feel like you're not doing enough you feel like you're not achieving enough you cannot stay in this position forever it's not your fault you're in that position but if you stay in that position and don't grow yourself don't elevate yourself then it's your fault everyone faces challenges they might be very different it's actually not mine they're always very different yes some people are uh, have worse situation than others but that doesn't mean this one with a less bad situation is not a situation it's still a situation because in their life is bad just because you're looking at it and you're like oh i wish i had your problems doesn't mean that to them they're not problems because if for example um i get stressed out by let's say fifty thousand, right someone else is getting stressed by 20 million and that one is getting stressed by like 20 billion dollars right yes it's it's it doesn't make sense like i would be like oh i wish i had your problems because you know they're looking for bigger money you know they have more money but in reality even the one looking for 20 billion dollars is going through the same mental challenge mental stress like you are it's just um in a smaller you are in a smaller quantity than him or her or whoever but the point is if regardless of the situation what the hell if regardless of the social class a problem that is keeping you awake is the same problem is 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 is, is the same way someone like elon musk is getting sleepless nights over like 50 billion yes it's not on the same scale but it still produces the same kind of stress and that's why so many people don't understand just because your problems feel bigger than others it doesn't mean it's bigger how it's affecting you emotionally mentally physically it's how the other guys the other person's problem is affecting them so anyway um if you find yourself in a situation where you don't like it okay you try and change it for example i felt stuck for a long time when i was still having my other channel i was stuck i kept on doing videos that i was enjoying i wasn't enjoying really um i just was like okay it's it's tuesday it's time to post so i just post the video without even having like any attachment to it do i like it do i not like it 
like I, I, I felt so weird watching the video myself because it was cringy to me meaning i wasn't in love with what i was doing so the best thing i had to do or the best thing that i ever did was to delete that channel and start afresh when i started afresh i am in love with what i do i am in love with the videos i post i feel so good when it's time to film when it's time to record when it's time to edit when it's time to post because I can tell you in most videos how they are planned, how they will go forth. If I, if you tell me about a vlog, I can tell you like from the start where it started, the middle of it and the end of it because I am investing in it. I put my heart and soul in the videos that I make right now. Like I can easily watch them over and over and over again without feeling some top type of way because I am proud of my work. If someone asks me, oh, can I watch your videos? I'd be like, here. And I'd be there and I see and I watch with them because I feel so proud of the videos that I'm posting right now. At this point in my life, at this point in my career, I am not focused on the numbers, okay? I was so focused about the numbers in my previous channel. So since it was a slow growth, you know, the first few times like you know you're not gonna like shoot from zero to a million it's not gonna work like that so it kind of has to be small until you get like to your first ten thousand okay first of all when you're at zero it's hard to get to a thousand okay and then when you get to a thousand you go to ten thousand you go to a hundred thousand twenty you know it's 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 a it's a what do you call it? it's a step thingy like you just can't skip the steps and go right to the top you need to take every single step at a time one step at a time so um, i have stopped focusing on the numbers i am focusing on the quality of the videos that i'm producing if i produce a video am i proud of it can i watch it do i recommend other people to watch it if yes then it's good to be posted if i feel like there's a time i um i did post a video right because the videos i like them and then um the video was fine and then the, the 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 video ran for like two days and i looked at it i was like i don't like the thumbnail anymore i don't like the thumbnail and i don't like the title so what did i do i changed it i didn't delete the ch i didn't delete the video you can easily change the title and the thumbnail as the video is still running so when i changed the title and the thumbnail and re-optimized my that video i re-optimized it completely it even got even more uh views because now it was attracting people if it was on the recommended page someone's gonna click on it so technically speaking i am i am so proud of what i'm doing right now like this time around i think i got it i got the point that so many YouTubers that I've been watching were saying, if you enjoy it and are proud of what you're doing, what you're producing, it's going to be so much easier to grow, so much easier because the foundation of your channel is passion and quality work. And that is all you need. Anyway, so guys, <laughs> I know I have ranted for a while, like probably ranted for like 15 minutes, but it's something that i wanted to say it's something that i've been thinking about since the, in the morning and i was like i'm gonna add this to my channel not to my channel to this week's mini vlog because a um, mini weekly vlog i'm trying to get into doing weekly vlogs but um, i don't have a very a very uh, entertaining week like most of my weeks are just staying at home so i'm gonna start with mini weekly vlogs before i get to an actual weekly vlog so um, i was like i'm gonna add this little um heart to heart talk at the end of the video because you know that's what i've been feeling today and today was the last day of posting not posting but filming the mini weekly vlog this was the last day of the mini weekly vlog because tomorrow is saturday and i want to do the week weekend vlog tomorrow i want to start filming the weekend vlog tomorrow so y'all i think i am done I am done. I wish, I wish, I hope that somebody out there has gotten what I'm trying to um, give out. Like you've understood what I'm trying to say in this video. Um, and if you're feeling stuck, just just keep on going. If you're trying to start that business, you're trying to grow that brand, you're trying to grow that company, you're trying to start that company, do it. It's tiring. You got so 
the what is it called um demotivated at times but you gotta keep going even if you don't have a support system be your own support system be your own fan girl be your own fan boy okay just keep on going that's just the message for today keep on going it's gonna work out in the end okay so uh, that's all <laughs> that's all i have for you today thank you not today but like this week that is just that you know what that's all for this video okay um if you're new to this channel subscribe i should probably say this at the beginning of the video not the end but since you're at the end of the video it means you enjoyed it so just give me a like and subscribe to my channel it's the right button down below you can't miss it also turn on the notification bell because i upload new videos every monday wednesday and friday and i don't want you guys to miss on any of my new uploads so turn on the notification bell and you're gonna be notified every time i upload a video and that guys i am going to see you in my next vlog goodbye She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her